The railroad commissioners, the, the ones sitting there right now, have asked to um, have more money put into this agency, and I agree with that. And, and so we're going to have to ask for more money in this agency. And partly, and I, I think there's some good justification. First, I say that for this agency, we are probably one of the only agencies actually creating money for this state. Mm -hmm. Between severance taxes and property taxes, everything else that's going on with the oil and gas industry, it is an important agency and we need to make sure we've got it funded to the extent we need to. And, and I, the best example I have is this: the Railroad Commission doesn't um, actually pay compared, com comparatively to other agencies. So a first year engineer at the Railroad Commission is offered forty thousand dollars at TCEQ. It's you know quite a bit more. So so I we I think when we're all talking about paying more, I look I'm for small government and not bulking up government by any means. But I do think you've got a commission that has cut a lot of jobs, is not competitive even with other agencies, and you've got a, an industry that right now, and I've been told not to say boom, so uh, because <laughs> everybody's like that follows my bus. But but it's been a much more active industry than it was ten years ago, even five years ago. And you need to make sure you've got the right people and enough people on the ground um, for inspectors for other things to make sure that that things are running effectively. Then we've got, you know, on the national level. With now that we know on our national elections, um, you've, I think you've got a White House that, frankly, isn't overly friendly to to the oil and gas industry and hasn't been overly friendly to Texas. So I think you've got that challenge to make sure you you continue to try to work with them. But also, you've got 35 states now that have active oil and gas production, and so I I always say it doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat in this state. You understand that the energy industry is important to this state because you've grown up in it. You may have not known directly, but you're being touched somehow probably in this state. And I think we've got an example, we are an example to other states about how you can do things well, how we regulate well at the Railroad Commission, and how we've been a leader a long time. So I think we need to start bringing our what we're doing in Texas to other states, particularly states like Ohio and Pennsylvania that are, have new industry going on for them and develop relationships with congressmen and senators in their parts of this, in the other parts of the country so they understand how important this industry is. I don't know the answer to that. I think you have to look at it on a case-by-case -case basis and look at the facts. And, and since I'm not familiar, I'll just tell you, I do know Atmos has a case in front of the Royal Commission. I think it's one of their rate-making that's coming up in December, but mm -hmm. because I'm not there, I haven't been briefed on it, to be honest. So, uh, and I know that, that that was an issue. I, I have heard of, I, I have read John's articles and, and know the, about the issue, but, um, you know, I think that the Railroad Commission, right now, the way the rates are done is they're done first at the city and then appealed to the Railroad Commission, right. and so um, we may not be, depending on what the rules are, and, how, and, and I'd have to go look at this, um, we may not be the, the person where it needs to start. It may need to go to court first and foremost, or may need to be done within the cities, too, and, and negotiated with Atmos first and foremost. But I think you've got to make sure this, that everybody's heard when there's a rape case, and, and I think that's, I know that I've gotten that feedback from several people all over the state, not just Atmos, but other customers and other groups, that they're concerned that the Royal Commission just rubber stamps things. And I think that you need to make sure, as a commissioner, that everybody's voice is being heard and you then look at the facts of, as they're presented to you. So um, that means to me you've got to be involved from, from ground the ground level up, too, because we're, as, in a lot of respects, just an appellate judge as, as it gets to us.